Laurie Evans struck his third hundred from his last four LV County Championship matches as Warwickshire fought back from a dreadful start on the second day of their latest match with title chaser Sussex in Edgebaston. Sussex began on the second morning on 278 for seven with Chris Jordan and Will Beer looking to add to their eighth wicket stand of 83. That was taken to 97 before Keith Barker produced a wonderful in-swinger which bowled Jordan for his excellent 61. Beer had moved from his overnight 23 to 31 when he too was out. LBW to Morris Chambers for whom that was wicket number four on debut. Steve McGoffin at least took the total to 300 for a third batting bonus point. But on 311 Sussex were all out as Chambers, on loan from Essex, proved his worth by bowling McGoffin to end with debut figures of 5 for 68. On this form, several counties will be happy to take him away from Essex. In their reply, Warwickshire had to wait for 26 balls before scoring a run, by which time Varon Chopra had edged McGoffin to slip for the Australian's 50th wicket of the campaign, and Atik Javid got a golden as McGoffin made it 51 next ball, as the batsman fended to Ed Joyce at third slip. So the home side had to recover from naught for two, and Ian Westwood and Evans put on 38 for the third wicket before the former nicked off to James Anion with 16 runs to his name. Will Porterfield's struggles continued as he went in the same way to be the third man out for a duck as McGoffin struck for a third time to leave Warwickshire in a bit of a mess on 47 for four. It was Tim Ambrose who started the recovery. Rumours in the press this week have suggested that he may face competition from Joss Butler next season if he leaves Somerset. But Ambrose showed what a very valuable player he is to his county by playing some attractive shots as he began to make use of the older ball. His innings was just what his side, and those who are also trying to win the championship title this year, needed. Evans has been the Bears' star performer in recent weeks with hundreds against both Nottinghamshire and Somerset and an 88 against Yorkshire in his last three matches and he was on the move again here. He was given a life before he'd made a real nuisance of himself. On 45 he miscued beer to mid on but got away with it as Anion spilled the chance. And that helped him earn yet another half century in this wonderful run he's in at the moment. This 50 had required 101 balls from which he'd struck six fours in an innings which was beginning to restore the balance of power in this contest. Warwick's innings was not too dissimilar to that of their visitors, the exception being that Sussex got off to a rocking start through Chris Nash and Luke Wells. From there they collapsed before Jordan and Beer had saved their bacon and now it was Evans and Ambrose who were doing that for their team. Ambrose was now taking a back seat as the 25-year-old former Surrey man really started to take charge, his confidence rightly flowing over given his current form. He was just a six hit away from reaching three figures for a third time in four games when Ambrose reached his own half century, which had used up 111 deliveries, from which he'd hit five early fours before sitting back and admiring the form of his partner. The keeper batsman then struck successive boundaries off Jordan to take the partnership with Evans to 137 for the fifth wicket. It was ended with Ambrose on 61 losing sight of a short ball from Jordan, which was pouched by Rory Hamilton Brown. But Evans was still there and he on drove Nash for his 15th four from his 181st ball. He's had a good run in the side this season and after a sluggish start has begun to take full advantage of his opportunity taking his batting average into the 60s and giving himself a good chance of picking up 1,000 championship runs in a season for the first time in his career. His new partner Tom Milnes mixed a solid defence with the occasional flourish. Twice in the space of 20 minutes he cleared the rope, the first off Nash and the second off a low full toss from Michael Yardy who was given a rare bowl in the first class game this season. Sussex's other spinner, Beer, was also driven for a maximum as Evans moved on to 137, made out of a total of 250. With just five and a half overs of the day to go, he came down the pitch again, but turned a ball from Nash to Joyce to end his innings after four and a half hours. Milnes and Barker saw out the remaining 15 minutes and they will go again on the third morning with their side now right back in this contest on 252 for six. 
That leaves them 59 runs away from fully restoring parity.